In this world, we're all only passing through. The commencement of Prashat Chaye Sarah provides the sad details of the burial arrangements for Sarah carried out by Avraham. Presenting himself before the Bnei Chet, the children of Chet, the inhabitants of Canaan, Abraham introduced himself by saying, Ger v'toshav anuchi imachem, I'm a stranger and a resident in your midst. Isn't this sad, but it is the reality, hasn't it? taken place again and again through history that Jewish people, having moved to a particular place, even though they might have lived there for a long, long time, they're still considered to be the ger, the outsider. The Dubna Magid gives added depth to this statement by Abraham. Abraham said, Ger v'toshav anochi imachem. A stranger and a permanent resident? That's me, I'm the stranger and you are the permanent residents. Abraham here was describing why it was important for him to have a choice piece of land within which to bury his wife. And he was saying, your world view is so different from mine. As far as you are concerned, in this world you are permanent residents because you believe that you're not going anywhere else from here. But as far as I am concerned, I am only a temporary resident here. I'm a visitor on earth. And that's why, in tradition, we call our cemeteries Beit HaChaim, the home of the living, or Beit Olam, the home of those who exist forever. That's something that Abraham appreciated, and that's why he wanted to bury his wife appropriately. There's a story about a man who traveled through many countries in Europe in order to reach Rudin, a town which is in Belarus of today, where the Chofetz Chaim used to live. And he had the privilege of being able to meet the Chofetz Chaim and discuss some issues with him. But when he was brought into the Chofetz Chaim's home, he noticed how modest the house was. And the Chofetz Chaim found it difficult to find a chair for the man to sit on. And this visitor said to the Chofetz Chaim, You've, you haven't got a lot of furniture here. Why not? So the Chofetz Chaim said to this traveler, tell me, <coughs> traveling through Europe to see me, did you bring your lounge furniture with you? No, said the man, I'm only passing through. Me too, said the Chofetz Chaim, I'm also only passing through. This was the message that Abraham was giving to the Canaanites. And this message brings us a lot of reassurance. We should never fear what is going to happen to us once our physical lives on earth end. And that's because we're only passing through. As we are taught in Pirkei Avot, this world is the passageway which leads towards the great banqueting hall which is waiting for us. But in the meantime, let's perform as many mitzvot as possible. Let's build up the credit through the merit of our deeds in order to guarantee that in the course of time we're not rushing, but when it comes to it, we will benefit from God's full blessing in the true and everlasting world. Shabbat Shalom.